Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Souls. Thanks so much for joining me today. Last week I was able to tell you about one of the fashion tours that I'm hosting this coming summer, July 2023, which is from Paris to Marrakesh, following in the footsteps of the legendary couturier Yves Saint Laurent. And this week I get to tell you about the second idea that I pitched to the fabulous travel designer Erica from Open Doors Travel, which is a local tour operator here in Vancouver. A few months ago, Erica asked me if I'd be interested in hosting international fashion tours. Well, dream come true. And she let me choose the destinations. So the second trip that I suggested is a fashion tour of Italy with an emphasis on sustainable fashion. I've never been to Italy, but I've always adored the great Italian fashion designers such as Armani, Valentino, Versace, Prada, Ferre, and Gucci. Italy's fashion industry is always cutting edge and exciting. But these days there's so much going on in terms of innovative, sustainable fashion that I really want to go and check it out. In fact, sustainable fashion is so important in Italy that the Green Carpet Fashion Awards started there in Milan in 2017 and it's been going ever since. Some of the big names in Italian fashion and some really interesting little small startup companies are using innovation and technology that is ethical and sustainable but does not compromise on style. This trip takes us on all of the cities that I've always wanted to see in Italy. Milan, Venice, Florence, even Verona, and we'll get to do all of the touristy things that I've always wanted to do with the addition of going into some ateliers and seeing these little interesting startup businesses doing some amazingly creative and innovative things. If I just tried to go to Italy on my own, I don't think I'd have the same experience and I definitely wouldn't be able to share it with a group who's also really interested in all of those things. As I mentioned in the previous video, these trips are not exactly cheap. They are luxury travel. In fact, this one is a little bit more expensive than the Paris to Morocco trip. But as one viewer commented in the last video, the prices posted on the Open Doors Travel website are in Canadian dollars. So if you're converting from another currency like US, then it actually ends up being a really good deal for everything that's included. And again, it's the kind of trip that is so much better to do in a small group of like-minded people. So I believe it's well worth it for this once in a lifetime experience. Social travel is ideal for a trip like this because we'll be a small intimate group of 10 to 15 people who all have a keen interest in fashion, sustainability, and in Italy. Even though we'll arrive as strangers, we'll have so much in common that we'll leave as friends with so many shared memories that will last a lifetime. If you can't join us this time, I'll be sharing the whole experience on my channel. Maybe you'll start thinking about saving up and coming along on the next fashion tour that Open Doors Travel puts together for us. Your flights from home to Italy and back are not included in the cost of the trip because we'll all be coming from different areas of the world. And maybe you want to arrive a few days early and explore on your own. You can either book your own flights or Open Doors Travel can assist you with that. So the trip begins when we meet at our beautiful hotel in Milan for a three night stay. We'll get to know each other a bit as we head out to orient ourselves on a guided tour of Milan's beautiful sites, including Milan's Duomo, the largest cathedral in Italy, built in the Gothic style over a span of nearly 600 years. After our sightseeing tour, we'll head out for a welcome dinner. Everyone enjoys a different pace of travel. Some people enjoy a relaxed pace and some people are go, go, go. And flexibility is built into this trip. So after dinner, you can either return to the hotel to get a restful sleep, or you can head out on the town for a little night crawl. Milan comes alive at night and is quite safe. So whoever has energy left at the end of the day can head out to try some of Milan's gorgeous rooftop bars. Every day breakfast will be included at the hotel. Some lunches and some dinners are also included with some amazing experiences that Erica has found for us. But she's also left a little wiggle room there for us as well, knowing that some people might want to stay a bit closer to the hotel and have a simple meal while others want the adventure to continue into the night. A local tour guide will take us on a motor coach tour of Milan's fashion district. It wasn't until Erica showed me this itinerary that I learned that Milan's fashion district is called the Golden Quadrilateral of Fashion, where people come from all over the world to shop in the designer stores that line these elegant streets. All of the big Italian designers have their flagship stores here, as well as many other international designers, including Yves Saint Laurent. For me, this area will be some divine window shopping because holy smokes, expensive. <laughs> but then nearby, in fact, right close to the Duomo, there's another shopping area called the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, which looks like this. Now, how did I not know this? How have I never been to this magical place? 
These beautiful glass vaulted ceilings cover passageways that run in the shape of a cross, connecting the Duomo to the Opera House. And while this looks even fancier, the Galleria actually houses more affordable brands. Our guide will also take us to many small ateliers or designers workshops over the course of this trip, including one that empowers women in vulnerable situations by offering training in tailoring, upcycling, reusing, and recycling textiles. One super innovative startup that's actually making textiles out of waste marble, somehow turning marble dust into flexible fabrics. We'll have a day trip to Como, Italy, which is known for its beautiful silks and scenery. We'll check out an atelier there and complete our day with a food tour of this captivating area. We'll stop in Verona, the setting for Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and visit a few inspiring ateliers on the way, including one that again gives training to women at risk while upcycling dead stock fabrics, and this one that makes a leathery fabric out of waste grapes from the wine industry. We'll have a two night stay in Venice at this charming hotel. A local guide will take us on a guided tour of Venice and their beautiful sights. We'll have a tour of local ateliers and wrap up our day with a tour of Venice's Bacari wine bars and their famous Cicchetti dishes. Kind of like tapas, but Italian style. We'll have three nights in Florence, starting with a sightseeing tour that includes Florence's beautiful cathedral, the Piazza Signoria with its imposing statues, Ponte Vecchio, the old bridge with an interesting history, it's lined with fabulous jewelry stores, and Santa Croce, the oldest Franciscan church in the world and the burial site of many of Florence's most famous citizens, such as Machiavelli, Michelangelo, and Galileo Galilei. Two incredible museums await us, one being dedicated to the legendary Italian shoe designer, Salvatore Ferragamo, and the second one dedicated to Gucci, the best-selling Italian brand in the world. We'll have a really interesting day trip to Prato, which has a long tradition of recycling textiles, where we'll discover companies that make new yarn out of old garments. And there's an incredible textile museum in Prato that exhibits rare, beautiful, and very old fashion. Our trip wraps up with two nights in Rome, where we'll have a tour of Rome's spectacular archaeological sites, such as the Roman Forum, the Forum of Caesar Augustus, and the Forum of Trajan, and the Colosseum. For the final dinner of our trip, we'll go to a local restaurant to enjoy a pizza cooking class and make our own farewell dinner. We'll say arrivederci to our new friends and to Italy as we fly back home the next day. Now, if this trip sounds as amazing to you as it does to me, I truly hope you're able to join me. All the information you need is at opendoorstravel.ca. And of course, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in a few days with some really fun sewing projects. So we'll see you back here next time on Catherine Sews. And until then, arrivederci.